Hello and welcome to Hardware Husky. Today I'll be showing you how to update a Gigabyte motherboard using QFlash. First off, we have to go to download the latest BIOS. So go to your browser and type in the make and model of your motherboard. This one's a Gigabyte X570 Aorus Ultra. Once you've clicked on the link, you may see that this motherboard has a couple of revisions, 1.0, 1.1 and 1.2. To find out the revision, you can check on the motherboard box here on the label, or if you haven't got a box, you can check on somewhere on the motherboard. This one's on the bottom left corner, but it could be anywhere on the motherboard. You'll see a revision point and something or other. Once you're on the right page for the version you're on, click on support. Go to BIOS, here you will see the latest model has a letter at the end of it. This is F33A, this means it's a beta BIOS. The F32 here, without a letter, is a stable release. So we are going with the stable release, we're just downloading this. Yeah, okay. Loaded, you open the folder, and then you will see it. File just there. Now we have to prep a memory stick to um, things. So we have got to format the memory stick. Make sure it's formatted to FAT32. Just here. FAT32. Then we do a quick format. You can rename it. Zoom it quickly and then perform a format. So we just gotta let it do its thing, it shouldn't take too long once it's finished. So once that's done, you open up the memory stick by double clicking on it. And you drag over the BIOS file. This is the F32, so we drag it over to the memory stick. Once it's done, the BIOS is ready on the memory stick. So we restart the PC. To get into the BIOS, you have to press F2 or delete while the PC is booting up and this should bring you to the BIOS menu. Once in the BIOS, you can either press F8 or you can click, click on the Q flash button just here. It might be somewhere else if you're on simple mode, but this is where it is on advanced mode. When in the Q flash menu, it should look like this and on the left hand side, you should see your original BIOS. This is a F31 O, which is a beta BIOS. And the one we want to update it to is the F32, so the higher number is a newer version on the Gigabyte motherboard. So you click on Update BIOS, which will bring you this page here. You select the BIOS you want to update to, and then you press the right arrow button to go forward. It will then ask you, are you sure you want to update the BIOS? You click Yes. It will bring you to this page here, where you can also update the backup BIOS. This needs to be done if you're using one of the newer chips and you're using an older BIOS, otherwise the um, older BIOS may prevent the newer chip from booting. Before you press start, you want to make sure the area is clear of kids or pets that could knock the power supply out. And if possible, use an uninterrupted power supply. So once you press start, it will take a while to update the BIOS and the backup BIOS if you're doing that as well. Just leave it, don't touch it until it finishes and then it should say it will restart. You can either click on the button or let a time count down and the PC will restart. At this point, you want to go back into the BIOS by pressing F2 or delete however you got into the BIOS before and click on system info to check that the BIOS is updated to the version that you downloaded. This is F32, which is the one I wanted, so it's all correct and you want to redo all your settings. Like say, if you had XMP on, you could turn that pack on, or if you had any other special profiles, you can set them all back up, and that will be it, it's all done. And that's it for how to update your Gigabyte motherboard using QFlash. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and a subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave a comment in down below. I hope I'll see you again. Thank you for watching.